Crystal. What's going on, Toxic Gamers? How are y'all doing, man? Are we doing good? I'm not sure about that one, guys. I did not plan on getting hit by a natural disaster today because it seems like that every day something else is happening, man. Something is coming out every single day. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for two likes on the video, guys, because today we got the Ackman situation. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, and Andy Pan situation because both of these suckers are beefing right now. And this also involves the situation that happened a year ago with the homie heel versus babyface to which the Ackman said he need to get hit by a bear tranquilizer though. <laughs> like what? What are you talking about? And that situation is still kind of raging wildfires to this day, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get right into it. Shout out to the homie geeks and gamers. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're brand new. And also shout out to all of you guys for being around and killing it on the channel. Shout out to every single one of you for following over on the Instagram. If you have Instagram, links are in the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content here. Boo boo. By the way, the thing that pisses me off the most is I'm in a position where I have to I have to defend the act man. I can't stand the act man and I am in a position where I have to defend this clown because Andy Pants Gaming is such a coward and such a pathetic chameleon that I have to defend the act man. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, tranquilo papi. Now for context, for two people that do not know what happened, apparently the homie Andy Pants Gaming called out okay everybody gather around okay gather around we got to talk about it this is important otherwise this movie is not gonna make sense otherwise the plot will not hit you the same way it hit me and everybody right and it is hitting everybody right now okay so apparently the homie andy pants gaming called out the act man act ma'am uh, as well he called whatever you want to call him as uh act man okay and uh heal versus bait not heal versus but, but uh, skill up skill up yeah skill up Bruh. and he called out bellaler news young yeah for being woke youtubers for being shells uh, in the community for grifting this and that Andy Pence Gaming was going pretty haywire, okay? He went bozo, needless to say. And to a certain degree, he had, like, very valid points. Because these suckers uh, are gaming news channels and they are not even covering the gaming news. Essentially, it was the massive point of the video that I got from uh, from his video, essentially, right? So, yeah, he was calling him out. Then the Ackman was like, okay, let's do a debate. Let's set a debate. Let's do man-to-man -man or ma'am to man okay? what, Whatever, right? So the Ackman set up a debate with the Andy Pants Gaming and that debate was actually pretty good, right? The Ackman brought some really good points as well, right? Yeah, and then the community is like divided. All of a sudden the community is like uh, looking like this. Everybody beefing, beefing, beefing. The comments uh, in the comment section, everybody beefing, beefing, beefing. Nobody knows what's going on. People saying, please say psych. I wish I could say psych. Sick is looking like this. Sick is looking like this, okay? So that happened and all was kind of like not necessarily good in the hood, but to a certain degree, it was I, right? But then, guess what? The homie Andy Pants Gaming struck down his video. Oh shit! Oh shit! He strikes down the Ackman video, where Ackman is present, my guy. Like the Ackman did a debate with you, and he uploaded on his second channel, and Andy Pants Gaming was like, "Let me just take it down." And that's a massive sin on YouTube, bro. That's a massive sin. So that's the context. All right, let's get let's get to it. I've made it very clear a few times that I am not a fan of the YouTuber known as the Act Man, which is okay. totally fine. I'm not a fan of a lot of YouTubers out there, but the Act Man is a pretty big time YouTuber when it comes to the gaming world, and a lot of his videos do really well. And he's a well known person from yeah. that particular section of the internet, and he really did piss off a lot of people when he decided to cry like a little girl over Az's rant about Starfield, which again, Az was 100% right about Starfield and the Act Man. Uh, for context this happened last year where, where heel versus babyface went bozo needless to say right and, and a lot of people clowned on him a lot of people were supporting him and essentially a lot of people missed the part okay before i get into that one okay so here, here here's the thing right so he was being mad about the pronouns for starfield he blasted that on on his twitter and youtube and then the act man comes out the act man said that heel versus babyface needs to get shot down by a bear tranquilizer <laughs> Like, die, like, damn, bro, like, damn, damn, damn. I, I understand, you You can disagree, though, that's fine, but, like, it, bruh, like, crazy guy, crazy situation. So that happened, and you guys gotta also understand that there used to be a time when the act man himself was getting canceled, and the community had his back. The community was like, like, so we need to, we need to protect the act man. We're gonna protect the act man, right? And the community was on the act man side, and then the, the, the homie act man comes around, and turns his back on the community. I mean, damn! He said that he needs to get hit by a bear tranquilizer. And of course, the homie was mad by the, the, the Starfield, and by the pronouns, and all that crap is what the community got from 
But generally speaking, he was not necessarily mad just based off the pronouns, bruh. He was mad by the fact that every game is uh, having that agenda being pushed right. Every game has uh, is filled with politics. And every game nowadays is crap uh, in terms of quality, objectively, okay? You look at... I mean, wh what you're looking right now is Uncharted 4. This game came out, if I'm not mistaken, in 2016. Arguably one of the best game. Uh, one of the best story and single player game, right? Yeah, like this game came out nine years ago at this point eight years ago eight nine years ago at this point right depends on when you're watching this video but yeah right so we don't even have to go that far we don't even have to go 10 15 years just go back five years eight years in the case of uncharted 4 and you start to compare today's games versus these games night and day difference night and day difference so he was calling out that yeah man games quality is going down why does every game need to be like that and then the act man comes on uh, comes around says that he needs to get hit by a bear tranquilizer and that drama yeah th th that that happened that happened so that's what he's talking about and look like a complete fool in that entire situation and uh so that's where a lot of people soured on the act man from my perspective yeah, and many yeah. of these people yeah, had thanks. his back when he you know got demonetized and they exactly, rallied for him yeah. and not that he owes anyone anything because they had his back but it's like you forgot where you came from type of thing uh and all he needs to do is admit that as was right about Starfield because as was right but that's neither here nor there because we're talking about something that transcends whether I like or dislike someone agree with or disagree with them and that is copyright striking on YouTube and false flagging which again has uh, been repeated by me many times you don't recover from this when you're busted doing it you just don't and as an independent content creator it's the worst thing you can do and now we have this guy Andy Pants Games that is now copyright striking the act man all because why dog like you have bro like, you you have built a massive community man and to be fair though he does make good points he's crazy he goes crazy we also reacted to we discussed those videos as well right when we talked about those videos as well we covered those videos as well and it's like bro why do it why do it you had like really good points in uh, a lot of these videos why do it you had him though in a way and now the the homie act man is also making a comeback right now listen man i i i don't i don't dislike anybody i don't hate anybody hate is a big word though you know at the end of the day we're all human so i i yeah we, we can disagree i do disagree with a lot of stuff i do agree with stuff that i agree with of course like uh, uh, I, i'm assuming that the same is true with you guys as well you're not gonna agree with everything you're not gonna disagree with everything or agree or disagree with everything and that's how it is right that's that's uh it'd be what it'd be it'd be what it'd be so here's the thing right the act man debated andy pants gaming and he did bring a lot of solid points too right he brought up his past because andy pants gaming was bringing up act man's past so you know what they evened it out in a way in that aspect because you bring my past i bring your past you bring my past i bring your past you bring my past i bring your it's like one of those situations right so that happened and then the homie andy pants gaming just uh, like he just struck down the video like why do it man why do it bro they like had a debate because andy pants gaming made a video calling out the act man i actually thought he had some really good points in his video about the act man and yeah, his lack yeah. to uh, address the serious problems in the gaming world andy yeah, pants was making yeah. really good points in my opinion for the most part in that video so the act man responds they set up a debate the debate happens on Andy Pants' YouTube channel. The act man absolutely destroys this guy, Andy Pants. Like, I mean, just embarrasses the living hell out of him. I, I wouldn't say, like, uh, act man completely destroyed him. He did not completely, but yes, uh, he had, like, solid points, too. Uh, and he brought... Uh, I, will, I, I can respect that. I can surely respect that he brought some good points. And I did react to that video as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, like, upload that or not. Uh, Cause like this situation is coming out. It's like every day something else happening, and then the last video it gets outdated. I cannot keep up, bro. It's like Sony spending four hundred million dollars, you know, like dunking on the gamers, uh, calling gamers toxic, problematic. Gamers need to die. All that bull squash, you know. Like, you know eh. But and now all this crap is going on. I mean, damn, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, boss. It was brutal. The comment section on Andy Pants' YouTube channel was so bad that he turned the comment section off. Massive red flag, big time coward move right there. Um, that is mainstream uh, attitude right there, silencing the voice of the people when you got completely embarrassed and destroyed, okay? Absolutely pathetic behavior. Actman uploads the video to his second channel because it's his perspective too, so he uploads it. 
And he leaves the comment section open and he tells everybody, hey, if you want to criticize me, if you want to have a take, whatever, the comment section is open. I, I think honestly though, the act man is trying to make a comeback and he is making a comeback. Listen, man, we all can have bad takes though. You know what I mean? I, I thought it was crazy that he called out heel versus me. <laughs> Yo, this thumbnail is crazy, man. Yo, with Asman Gold reacting to it as well. Man. Yeah, I, I thought it was crazy. The Eggman calling heel versus babyface that, yo, you need to get hit. You need to be, sh not hit, but shot down by a bear tranquilizer. Bruh, like, what are we talking about? Maybe, okay, throw a water balloon at the... Nah, don't do that, but like, okay, like, if you really feel like that, saying that, just say, like, hey, you need to get hit by a water balloon or something. That would be less, less than that, man. Damn, what are we talking about, man? Damn, homie. Damn, man. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo here on this channel andy pants gaming has now struck down that video on the act man's channel as you see right here andy pants gaming responds and says you're gonna be fine alex act man didn't just clip the interview he reposted the entire thing that's a clear youtube violation i just responded with you're a pathetic little bitch because he is uh he's getting crushed right now uh ah, there's quantum tv ah, 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 uh, the mighty keep who I'm, I'm not a fan of this guy either but i mean he's cr he just he's right the act man was in the video that's not how copyright works yo imagine right like and depends if you're watching this like i got nothing but love for everybody i got love for you too homie but and, and you made solid points so that's the thing though even if i disagreed with you like i still got love for people though i like i like i got love for everybody man as long as you're rational or i mean even if you're as long as you're not hurting anybody right you, you feel what i'm saying that's where i'm at right bro like that's where i'm at like this is the internet bro this is the internet right but but like for example uh with the Ackman, oh i loved his channel man i loved his video loved Past tense, okay? Past tense. I loved his videos. Is uh, after what he did with the heel versus baby face. Yeah, whatever. But his recent videos, he's trying to, you know, make a comeback. And I'm like, yeah, damn, man. Good for you, brother. Good for you. Right? And uh, the act man is uh, trying to make a comeback. So I can respect that. And maybe he's going to learn, evolve. And listen, man, we all make mistakes. We can always learn and grow. And maybe he's going to get to the point where, you know, a lot of homies uh, come back. Uh, and that's, uh, that's fine, though. That's fine, right? But... But like, dog, Andy Pants, like, bro, you had good points, man. You had good points. Why do it? Why? And you are the one, first of all, calling him out. So if you're going to call somebody out, they have the right to respond. And that's what Ackman did. Uh, and Ackman didn't just respond. He was like, you know what? Let's do man to man. Let's uh, debate. Which is perfectly fine. And you accept it. Okay, cool. You could have declined and that would be I uh, that would be alright too, in my honest opinion. But uh you accept it. Okay, that's that's amazing. That's even more amazing. You've done a live stream? Great. But here's the thing though, he was in the video, man. And then he uploaded on his channel and then you took it down. Like, bruh. <laughs> bruh, it was not a re-upload though. You know what I'm saying? Like Technically it was, but like he was in the video. He was in the video. You, you feel what I'm saying? He, he, his face was in the video too. So that's not how it works. Uh, Mighty Keith uh, has a point. Has a point. This is insane, man. And so it's gotten really bad. Act Man responds and says, "When you record a debate with someone, both creators can host it on their channels. That's how this works." Yeah. That is how it works. And the reason I'm talking about this is because. No matter what our opinions are on things, whether we agree or we disagree, this right here takes things well beyond the line. I've been through this recently with the Star Wars Explained and the Pro Acolyte fans trying to target my channel and false flag my channel and many others. And now with Actman having someone target his channel with a similar kind of behavior with false flagging a channel, I think that I want I, I wanted to make a video on this just so I can call this out and show that it transcends whether I agree or disagree with someone. I do not yeah, like yeah. the act man. I don't like him at all. But he is being done wrong in this situation. Um, now, Act Man called out this Andy Pants gaming guy right here, which is pretty damn interesting. Now, Andy Pants does a lot of like anti woke content, calls out a lot of things with LGBT agendas and things. Um, and that's, hey, I, that, I think that more people should be calling that stuff out because I think wokeness in video games is a huge problem. I think social justice propaganda is a huge problem. But this right here, pretty interesting. I can't believe the morning I woke up and I was like, holy crap. Like one of my favorite YouTubers, as Mongold, was like making a video, responding to my video. And I was, and, and for a second, I was panicking. I was like, oh man, I hope he likes it. Like if he doesn't like this video, like I might kill myself. So there's this thing you see on YouTube a lot now and it's called grifting and you see people like Luke Stevens and as Mongold doing it a lot. And it just basically means these people have no integrity whatsoever. One of my favorite YouTubers as Mongold. And it basically means you just regurgitate whatever the popular opinion to have right now is. One of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, if you think that just... 
Bruh, bruh, bruh. Uh, listen, man, we all have bad, we all have bad takes sometimes, man. Opinions do change, though. I'm a firm believer. Hey, man, listen, opinions do change, okay? But like, damn, like, damn, man, like, damn, bro, like, damn, man. Started on YouTube, you haven't been paying attention. That's literally the internet, and that's just how it is. Like, I, the term grifter is such a stupid term to use. I'm so tired of the term grifter because it literally means someone that's more successful than me or someone that is getting a level of success that I don't think is uh, appropriate. That, that's essentially all it means. No one that, that's irrelevant or doesn't get a ton of views gets called a grifter. It's only people that get a ton of views or have a level of success that someone else doesn't like, therefore they're a grifter. It's the stupidest shit imaginable. Um, and it's just a term that's lost all meaning, just like racist and sexist and all of that. Ultimately, once facts, this debate facts. was over with, Andy Pants got absolutely destroyed by his own audience. He embarrassed himself, and of course, he couldn't have people having their own opinions, so he decides to silence their opinions. What a fucking disaster. Following the end of the stream, Andy would receive criticism not only from the general public, but from his own audience as well. How did he respond? Well, Andy decided the most Alpha Chad masculine decision he can make was to unlist the video and disable the comments. He also deleted a majority of his tweets in relation to the debate, causing an unsurprisingly chaotic riot within his Discord community. Not only would he avoid addressing the stream while posting unrelated tweets, but he would take it a step further by removing one of his mods because he begged him in the nicest way possible to stop acting like a fucking retard. He also allegedly began banning people who shit on him for how manic he was acting and spamming Cope to every text calling out his bullshit. For someone who's so willing to dish out criticism and insult other creators as leftist beta male cucks, he can't seem to take the L and stop acting like a leftist homosexual. Now, it's been some time since all this has played out, and there is an update. Apparently, he had a Discord called his community. Unfortunately, I wasn't available when it happened, and it doesn't seem like anyone has it recorded. However, they did help to convince him to give back his mod privileges to the individual who previously lost it. He unbanned some other members. He brought back the stream into public mode, and he re-enabled the comments. Ah! Whoa, whoa! Tranquilo, puppy. And he age restricted the stream and redisabled his comments again because he's a fucking pussy! Despite trying to right his wrongs, it's extremely telling the level of mental maturity someone like Andy has when melting down to a situation he started. I mean, seriously, what did we just witness? We yeah, you started it. You asked for this. You asked for this debate with the act, man. Damn, man. Like, and here's the thing, though. Andy Pence, he has good points, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he, he, I'll still say, I mean, facts are facts, though. And also, the fact here is that the homie act man is, is sounding like and is being a bigger man right now in the situation. He's making a comeback. And listen, I'm all up for comebacks, bruh. I'm all up for comebacks. And another thing that uh, I want to mention is that I just realized... Uh, I'm not sure what was the conclusion of this situation, but I believe the Ackman tried to uh, reach out to Heel vs. Babyface numerous times and he wanted to apologize. I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, right after what he said, right? And of course he said that he needed to get shot down by a bear tranquilizer. It's hilarious, but it's like, damn, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you were also getting canceled at one point and suckers were on your side, bro. Like, the community was defending you, bro. Like, damn, man. Like, why you do that, bro? So, yeah, I, I feel like that he realized, and uh, good on him. Good on him if he genuinely did. But, I, but I could be wrong, could be wrong. He Because uh, it's been so long, my memory's foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, right? So I'm trying to recall from memory. I, I guess he tried to make things alright with him, but uh, Heel vs. Babyface don't want to talk with him anymore. And that's his right. That's his right. That's his right. He don't want to... Uh, uh, yeah, he don't want to... That's the last thing I heard. Maybe they squared things out i hope they did i hope they did man i hope they did but and by the way the know. thing that pisses me off the most is i'm in a position where i have to i have to defend the act man <laughs> i can't stand the act man and i am in a position where i have to defend this clown because andy pants gaming is such a coward and such a pathetic chameleon that i have to defend the act man this is insane we saw an overconfident, underprepared, and insincere Andy come into a debate of his own making. He accused Ackman of being a shill by both being a leftist, yet simultaneously a fence-sitter. Ironic how this entire stream and its aftermath showcases Andy displaying this exact same behavior. Throughout the stream, Andy continuously opens his question with, Isn't it strange? Well, Andy, isn't it strange that you claim to be a devout Christian, yet you were unable to quote or remember the Ninth Commandment? Isn't it strange how hard you shilled for Starfield and Xbox only a year ago, yet believe Ackman is paid out by Activision? Isn't it strange that when ripping Ackman from shifting his politics to appeal to leftists, you yourself are exposed for advocating for diversity and LGBT representation, but now have shifted your views to promote an anti-gay narrative? Isn't it strange how despite condemning gay behavior, you posted a video of yourself humping the air in a one Okay, uh, this isn't actually fun, it's just funny. Oh, yes, daddy. Isn't it strange that you call Ackman a crypter, yet you self-reported when you said the only reason you radicalized your car- What? What? Say it in so say psych right now. Say psych right now. Say psych right now. Hey, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Y'all need some love, man. Y'all need some love, man then was because you got views for doing so and you're easily influenced by your community for your moral compass isn't it strange you can keep acting tough and call yourself a confident man but at the end of the day if you don't humble yourself andy and act like a fucking adult your facade will fall and from the words of act man the leopards will eat your face 
If you guys want to see this entire video, it's a, I'll link it. This channel, Walter, it's got like 500 subscribers. Um, uh, but uh, I will link this video so you guys can okay. see that. But yeah, th this situation is uh, really, really bad for Andy Pants Gaming. It's not going to get any better for him. It's only going to get significantly worse. And uh, th the lesson learned here is to not false flag other YouTube channels because you disagree with them. Don't sit there and overstep the boundaries. And now we have an update. As I was recording, this happened, but Andy Pants has backed down because typical coward behavior. Yo! Yo! The homie coming back, though! The homie coming back, I retracted the request. My logic was, why is he uploading my entire video? He should be linking to mine. But I learned today it's a pretty big deal. I'm new to all this. Apologize. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, I take it back. Uh, or nah, man. He's making a comeback. He's making a comeback. Uh, shout out to him for removing the strike. But like, you're not new to this, man. You had another channel. Uh, you had an Xbox fanboy channel, right? Calling out the Sony ponies, the PlayStation fanboys, which is fine. Which is fine. I love me the memes as well. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But like... Bro, you're not new to this, bro. You're not new to this. Behavior. He can't stand by anything he does or says because he seems to not believe in anything. And he was getting so much backlash that now he has decided to put this tweet out. I retracted the request. My logic was, why is he uploading my entire video? He should be linking mine. But I learned... Bruh, he was in the video, though. You know what I'm saying? But Today, it's a pretty big deal. I'm new to all this. Apologies. Pathetic. 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 I think, like, just saying that, yo, my bad, bro. Like, uh, my bad. Uh, I, I retracted. My bad. My apologies, man. I'm not going to do it again. I learned from my mistake. That would be it. That would be better. I'm new to all this. Why is he re-uploading? Man. You, you feel what I'm saying? That just... Nah, bro, like, Andy, you had, like, really solid points, bro. You got a community, man. You got a community bigger than mine, bro. You got a community bigger than a lot of channels, bro. Wh why? Because wh you spit facts. You spit facts in a lot of the other videos, man. But, of course, uh, people uh, see through the bull squash, so... It it's one of those things, man. It's one of those things. So people are seeing the other side, and people are calling you out on it. I quote tweeted him, and I said... False flaggers never recover. You don't recover from this. End of discussion. And you don't. You shut off your comment section. And you tried to silence the person that you demanded the debate. You called out the act man in your video. You did. He then said he's willing to have a conversation with you online or offline. Had the debate yeah, on your yeah, channel. Yeah. You got embarrassed. You Crazy situation, y'all. Check out this video or not. Don't watch this video. Whatever you do, do not watch this video. Apparently, we got a deleted video getting leaked out there. Oh, shit. Oh, sweet baby ink. Do not watch this video, guys. Do not watch this video. I mean, watch this video, and I'll see you right there.